you've talked to him from Miami or since he's been here? Here. In Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So he called you collect. Mm -hmm. And you need to accept the charges or mm -hmm. the call won't go through. Right. Was it just that one time? Mm-hmm. So how long had it been since you had talked to him then? I think about 25 days he's been in Lehigh County. Before he called you, how long had he been in there? Um, probably like two weeks. Okay, so it's been like five or six weeks since you had talked to him. Mm -hmm. What was the first thing he said to you? He said, thank you for accepting my call. And you said? And I said, did you get the papers that I filed? He never once apologized, never once you know, said he was sorry. All he said was when he gets out, he'll explain the whole story. And you had papers and business stuff to talk about. How did he finance this trip to Mexico? He withdrew money from my bank account. Um, and then Amy stole $10,000 from her mom. How much did he take from your account? He took 4,000. And did it leave you in a bind? Uh, 28 cents. He left you with 28 cents? Mm -hmm. And I had just paid my mortgage payment, just paid my car payment, um, and house bills, and they all came back bounced. Uh, okay, okay. He leaves you and your children with 28 cents. Mm -hmm. But he's gonna explain all of this. When he gets out. When he gets out. Is there an explanation? No. Now, what do you think should happen to Kevin at this point? Um, he needs to be punished for what he did. He definitely needs a lot of help. He needs to be put away. He needs to sit and think of how he destroyed my family and my girls. Amy, she needs help as well.